All right. So now what you're seeing on the screen is the set of steps for the Firothi ransomware. In the first screen, what you are seeing is it's the folder with the name tools. That's where we have got most important files. So when I look at it, um, I've got two files in there for this proof of concept. Uh, the one of the name is most important file and the second one being the second pass, uh, sensitive passwords. So let's open one of the, um, text files. Looking at the text file, um, it seems that there is some text in there, um, for the demo purposes, but it's in plain text right now. So let's close this file. Um, and let's look at the second file, which is a sensitive password files. Uh, this, uh, uh, which contains some dummy passwords in there in plain text. Okay. So I'm going to close this files now. So now you know that these are the important files, uh, on the machine, which we are going to encrypt it, uh, through Firothi. Okay. What I've got on the right is the C drive, um, of the a machine in which we are going to um, infect it with ransomware. And what I'm going to show here is uh, the this is the folder structure. And, and uh, remember that right now we have configured our ransomware to, to encrypt files in the tools folder. Um, however, this can be customized to, uh, to encrypt the full folder, um, uh, or complete C drive or the whole document folder or pictures or whatever you like. Okay. So, uh, so let's look, keep it open and see how things are changing when you run the ransomware on the infected machine. Uh, the third folder I've opened here is the temporary folder. That is where all the uh, certificates um, and, and the symmet symmetric keys are going to get dropped and then it's going to get exfiltrated out on uh, to the attacker. Uh, in the fourth window, I have got um, browser open. Uh, in the first tab, I've got uh, the Google Drive. Uh, right now, if you look at this Google Drive, there is only uh, one folder and a file. However, there is no other thing available here. So, uh, Firothi uses, uh, uh, for, for the exfiltration purposes, um, when you have big files, um, it's going to get exfiltrated to Google Drive. So, um, uh, I tried it with this TS, uh, test M MP4 file, which is 126 MB, and it works perfect. Um, so what is going to happen is the, uh, the, uh, these files over here is going to get copied into um, the Google Drive when you run the ransomware, okay? And uh, remember that we have distributed our, um, our tax infrastructure in a way that, uh, you know, um, uh, that uh, we are not relying on one single service, um, uh, right? So for, for the symmetric case are going to come to, we have, we, you know, to poke mail. Um, and how do you set up poke mail? I'm going to show you, uh, in a moment. But before that, let's look at, uh, what, uh, sort of, um, uh, USC controls we have on the, um, infected machine. So let's look at the, uh, USC settings. Uh, it seems that, you know, um, the, the highest level of USA is always notified. Um, you know, um, whenever the apps tries to install a software or make any changes to the computer, uh, this is going to notify the user, right? So this is currently set on always notified. Let's minimize this and look at the current um, certificate store, um, which is, uh, you know, the local store on the on the box so the current uh, store um, has only has got only one certificate in here um, however when when the ransomware is going to get deployed uh, you will see um, one of the a one of the other certificates it's going to get installed and then, then it's going to get removed afterwards um, right once you exfiltrate and encrypt these um, uh, files inside the tools folder Okay, let's minimize this now. Um, so let's set up our um, ransomware with the email address uh, where you wanted to exfiltrate the 
keys for the certificate. Uh, so I'm, uh, right now I've chosen the Statue of Liberty as a location. So, uh, so I'm going to click on this um, and, and then get the a this ge geographic coordinates and I'm going to paste it in here. So this geo uh, this is just geographic coordinates um, is for the Statue of Liberty. I'm going to set this as my location. So once I set this as a location, you'll see that uh, it has created um, a unique location for me. Uh, and then it has generated a random looking email account for me, right? Um, and, and then it, it has got um, one email in it as of now. Okay, so so you have to copy this email and then, and then put it uh, inside your ransomware file and have to make changes in the email address parameter. So I'm going to do that now. So I've modified the email address for one of the uh, one in here. Um, and the other place where you want to make changes is email one parameter over here. So after you make those changes, um, save the file. So I'm going to save this file and I'm going to minimize this for now. And I have got, uh, I've opened a PowerShell file and I'm going to run the ransomware. Um, <clears throat> to run the ransomware, all you need to do is just run uh, one single PowerShell file. Uh, once this is going to run, you will start seeing uh, files going to get dropped inside the temporary folder. Um, and, and, and then, you know, uh, in, in Gmail drive, you are going to see uh, a, a zip encrypted file um, you know, containing the um, uh, exfiltrated data, right? So I'm going to hit enter. So it is going to create a B64 encoded certificate. This is going to be the public key, and then it's it's uh, it's identifying. Um, um, so um, then it's going to install the uh, package uh, as a seven zip um, uh, module onto the machine. However, let's see if, if this has already installed the certificate uh, on the machine. Um, not as of now, but let's give it some time and then you'll see another certificate being installed in here um, on the machine. So once that is done, um, you know, um, it's going to start encrypting the files. So right now it is zipping the files. So if you look at this, um, uh, it has already created the certificate. It is creating files. And now uh, the files are already zipped and email has been sent to an uh, attacker on, on the poke mail. So if we go here and, and refresh it, you know, it has created the zip, uh, still.zip file. It is um, it is running some uh, enumeration on the files on what all files uh, the the ransomware needs to encrypt um, and and then the um, it's going to start uploading the files to the Google Drive. So once uh, it's going to upload the large files, uh, it's going to delete uh, it from the temporary folder, um, and then uh, you you'll see that it is going to start encrypting the files. If you look at here, you'll see that the files are already been encrypted and, and this, uh, we have successfully deployed the Firothi ransomware onto the machine. So once this is done, you know, um, it, it, it gives you a notification on the, um, uh, on the infected machine that, you know, they have been ransomed uh, and, and the files are uh, encrypted. So, um, you know, I, as of now, I have put 30 seconds for the proof of concept, but then um, you can set this timer for, um, you, 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 timer for, you know, however long you want, right? And so once this is going to be done, it's going to close the UI, and then it's going to change the um, uh, desktop uh, of the infected machine. Right now, if you see that, uh, if if you have a, a quick look at the, um, uh, the the folder where we had sensitive files, um, the, the files have been changed with .firothi extension. The file type is again changed with firothi, um, and and then uh, once you see here, uh, see here, um, uh, the, the the background gets changed um, as well with with. Um, 
uh, with, with, uh, with the Firati background. Okay, so that, that's been done as well. Um, and, and if you look at it here, right, uh, you have received uh, emails containing the private key for the certificates, uh, or the certificates is already deleted from the um, infected machine. Um, and, and then, uh, and, and, and then if you try to open the, the tools folder again, and see if it, and try to access the files, uh, uh, you'll see that, uh, you know, it's no longer uh, accessible. So if you open it, you know, um, that there is just chunk characters in it, um, and it's been encrypted, uh, with dot ferrothy. So, so that's what the ransomware does. Um, and, and, uh, uh, so w w the next step is to actually go ahead and, and download the, a, um, encryption keys. So I'm going to download the backup 1.zip file. And, and if I go back to inbox, I'm going to download the other file as well. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to back up this as well. You know, so once downloaded, um, you can go to your um, Google Drive and you'll see that still.zip file is already in there. And if you try to open this, you, you'll see that you've got the same two files in there. The most important file.txt and the sensitive passwords.txt. This were the actually on, on, in the, these files were actually on the infected, uh, um, host, uh, uh, in, in .txt format, which is now converted to .firati. Okay, so if you try to open this, you won't be able to open this. The reason is, but however, let's download this. So it is scanning for virus, and now once it's going to download, uh, let's go to the download folder. Uh, oh, it's not downloaded yet. So let's go to the download folder and see if uh, uh, if we can open this. So if we can try to open this, you know, it requires the password. Um, and uh, this password uh, for these files are actually inside uh, the poke mail, right? So, and, and mm, in the backup.zip file. So if you try to open the backup.zip file and look at the sys.txt file, that's the private key for the zip encrypted file, which is on the Google Drive. So, mm, but however it requires the password, uh, this password uh, is encrypted using the, uh, this initialization vector over here, uh, which is using the symmetric key, right? So this is the um, symmetric key um, for the very first file, uh, which is uh, uh, sys.txt, right? So this initialization vector as an attacker, you, you are the only one who holds this. Um, and, and since this is running inside the memory, um, and, and as you rotate your infrastructure, um, no one else would be able to gain access to this. Okay. So let's verify, um, and, and put this as a password in there. And sure enough, this is the, um, uh, the, the password for the, the stolen file, right? So if we, uh, this is the password for the, sorry, uh, um, certificates using which the files have been encrypted. So when you want to send this uh, decryption key, this is what you are going to send it to the user. Okay. So, uh, so that's how the attack works. Um, and, 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 and uh, if you, if you look at it, that there is going to be, um, uh, Firoti dot, um, uh, txt file on the desktop, um, such as this, and if you try to open it, it's going to give you the same note uh, which you saw it in your uh, pop-up window, right? That your files have been encrypted. They're asking for 0 0.10 Bitcoin. Um, if you don't pay it, uh, they are going to, you know, uh, release your files, uh, sensitive files to the internet. So I, the same can be done with, with um, uh, uh, with the phishing emails, right? Uh, so if we go to, um, uh, let, let's go to Gmail, uh, and, and see how this attack can be done via phishing emails. So, uh, one thing I'm not going to show you here is, um, how do you bypass antivirus? 
because that's not the scope of the project. Um, we, we are purely looking at the ransomware and how you can create a proof of concept and, and make your incident response team um, work for it uh, to see um, uh, their behavior and identify the gaps, right? So supposingly you receive emails like this um, with a subject line, important promotion list for 2020, right? Um, and, and, and supposingly you, you receive this from your, um, uh, from, from your colleague or whose email is compromised using, um, you know, various other means. And since you trust that, um, your colleague, uh, and internal email addresses, you, you, uh, think this is an important file to, to work with. Okay. So once downloaded, um, uh, once downloaded, the files look like this. Okay. And, and this looks very legit. Uh, an attacker can generate this kind of data, um, and, and lure someone to, to, um, lure someone to, to, um, you know, uh, download files and, and run it. Okay. So once you have downloaded this, uh, there is a note here saying that click on the chart to display the insights. Uh, suddenly you'll see that, you know, the, the, the data is good. However, uh, the, the, the issue is the chart is not getting loaded properly. So let's uh, look at the macros and uh, what an attacker has done in here. Um, so the macro looks like this, okay? So it's going to download the test.patch file from, from the GitHub, and then it's going to run a demo.patch file. It's going to save it in the temporary folder, uh, and, and then it's going to run it, okay? So let's let's see um, what's, what, what's um, in, in the GitHub and how it's going to pull this stuff. So right now I'm in the test.batch file. This is what it is getting pulled. Uh, so, so once um, things are getting pulled, uh, it's going to run a ransomware, um, which can be downloaded on the machine itself, right? Like the way we are downloading this batch file. So, um, okay. So, so let's try to run this and, and see if it is actually working. So, um, so since it says that, you know, click on the chart to display the insight. And what I've done is on click event, uh, or for this chart is going to call the macro and it's going to run it. So, uh, let's see if, if this is working. So let, once, once I click on this, right. It, it's, it has, um, opened that CMD, um, and, and it, it's going to, uh, pull the, uh, uh, file from the internet, uh, into the temporary directory, uh, of, of this machine. So let's go to TMP directory and, oh, the demo file has already been downloaded. Okay. So if you look at the timing, it's 1116 and, uh, we, just now the, the file has been downloaded. It is creating the sys.txt file. Uh, the, the, the ransomware is running in, uh, in the background. You can confirm this uh, by um, uh, the way this CMD has opened. But uh, um, uh, if you don't want the CMD file to pop up, you can you can hide that as well. Um, uh, see, it is creating different files. It is um, it has created backup.zip file, and it, it's going to perform the same attack again. Um, and, 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 and the, what it's going to do this time, it's going to repeat exactly the same, uh, um, same steps on the machine, but without even user, uh, user realizing that something is going, uh, happening on the account, right? So if you see that still.zip file has already been created, um, uh, 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 zip file has been created. Let's see if, if there is, uh, Actually, the certificate um, created on the machine. Yes, cert.csscer has been created just now. Uh, but uh, you can verify the same stuff by actually downloading, uh, by looking at the uh, personal certificate store. So, uh, you know, this store, is, is, uh, it is going to create a self-signed certificate on the user machine, even though we have a USC of always notify. Right. Um, so if you if you double click on the certificate, you know that uh, we have got a private key which is go getting sent uh, to an attacker uh, via poke mail. Okay. So so 
uh, once this is going to uh, once this uh, the um, attack is going to be successful uh, it's going to delete, delete this um, uh, self signed certificate uh, and the private key from the machine um, and and then um, user won't have a chance to encrypt their files okay so that's how the attack vector uh, works um, even with the phishing um, and 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 let's go to our <clears throat> oh so the, the attack has already been finished uh, it, it is refreshing the window um, and and um, that's why the, the, the windows got closed um, and, and and then when you you can confirm this by going into the same tools folder and see if the files are encrypted encrypted already so um, the files are encrypted um, and and then um and, and then the, this uh, the certificate is going to get deleted so if you keep refreshing it uh if you refresh uh, it uh, the, the certificate is already deleted uh and that's how the attack um works through phishing uh, and that's how the ransomware gets spread from one machine to the other um i hope uh, you like this demo um and, and you have learned something new out of it um uh, um so uh, let's jump back to the presentation and 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 see some mitigation strategies now now mm -hmm.